It's 7.20 in the morning, Saturday. I used to come and cut hair at 7 in the morning, but kind of cut that off. It's a little bit too much. And usually I'm at the gym by now, but Caleb, the homie, the trainer, my client, he's out of town. I'm gonna blame the fact that I haven't gone to the gym today on you. It's all on you, Caleb, not on me. Not on me. But anyways, today it's, it's a tutorial day. Um, I'm not gonna make this a vlog day. Uh, I'm gonna try to spice things up a little bit on this channel. This particular client that I'm gonna show you guys, it's my homeboy Fonzo. He's got the same name, so I'm gonna dedicate this to you, Fonz. Zo, because he doesn't, he's not Fonz, he's Fonzo. A few things before we get started. There are a few challenges in this video that this specific person, AKA Fonzo, brings. Now, um, for those that cut hair a lot, you will know exactly what I'm talking about and I'll speak on it. Other than that, let's get started. I'm gonna grab the number two guard, it's black, wall, and run it through the crown. You gotta go with the grain though, with the grain. After that, we're gonna grab the one and a half babyless guard. Red, red. I think I have it closed, let's see. Do I have it closed? Did I close it? I'm not showing. It's closed, I'm pretty sure it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. It's closed. Okay, we're using the trimmers to bald out both the sides and the back because we're doing tapers. High on the sides, low on the back. And I'll explain why later for the back. Later. Well, let's talk about it real quick. Look, with this area right here, the, the back, we have to do it low because he has some indents. When you're dealing with indents, the fading process is a hundred times harder, at least for me. I'm just gonna talk for myself. All of you guys are probably better at cutting hair than I am. So let's just let's just talk about me and my issues, okay? I can't fade that. If I'm trying to fade with creases all over the place, it's not gonna work. I've tried. I have clients that have way more creases in the back of their heads than Fonzo. I'm trying to hook the brother up. I don't wanna fight it. So we're gonna keep this tapered low, low. Sides are high, back is low. Let's go. Ooh, that rhymed. Okay, so right now, guys, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Masters. Your boy is serious. Got the Masters right there, look. And we're about to start the fade process. We're gonna open that blade up. And I'm just gonna explain it like this. Open, mid, closed. Sometimes you might have to go to the second notch in between. I don't know, guys, just start. Grab those clippers and get cutting, okay? Get to cutting, get to cutting. And now, after that, we're gonna grab the number two guard. We're gonna continue this fade process. We're gonna grab the number two guard and uh, drag it up, drag it up. Take it up, Fonz, let's go. Yippee! Here we go, okay, and we're using the number one. And after the number one, we're gonna grab the, come on, come on, who knows the system? The zero. The zero, and then from the zero, we're gonna go to the no guard all the way open. And after that, guess what we're gonna do on the other side? The same exact thing, okay? J the reason so I'm doing such a high taper, it's because um, his corners are, are, are kinda, you know, he's starting to get the arches like your boy right here. And I'm trying to help the brother out. I understand his struggle. 
So one day I suggested to him, why don't we do a high taper? Listen to me, I know you're not gonna wanna do this, but how about we do a high taper? It's gonna take away from what you got right here. He said, you know what Fonz, I trust you. Do it. Ever since then, he hasn't looked back. So yes, some waivers will take a high taper. Most waivers don't want it, but there are those that need it. And Fonz, Zo needs it. So now we're in the back. The challenge has begun. It has begun. We're gonna do this taper as low as possible. So we're gonna do a low, a small section with the no guard all the way open. I don't know my sec. I don't know. I don't know the numbers. I don't know the numbers. I never passed math. I did pass math, but I don't. Everybody says an inch. Do an inch. Do a half an. I don't know. Just make the damn section. Just know that you can't pass that crease you can't get you by the time you're done with this fade with this taper you leave you're leaving that crease alone i mean you might lighten it up because there's some hair in there there's some hair in there zoom in fonts zoom in you see that hair huh you want to get you want to line that up lighten it up but you don't want to mess with that crease too much okay so what we're going to do now is that we're going to go we're going to grab this red comb right here with the white teeth and we're going to go in and comb this beard out barbers out there don't disrespect the beard now right here, it was process of elimination. I didn't know what he wanted. He didn't know what he wanted as far as bringing down the beard. I didn't know what he wanted. So what I do is I start from, like I said earlier, high to low. I grab the number four guard. I ask him, yo, you like this? He wanted to go lower. So there you go. But you never know. You never know. Now, uh, now the beard is done. We're gonna grab the masters again because we, we just used the walls on the beard. Now we're on the masters again. And uh, we're gonna fade, 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 we're gonna keep that fade high. We're not gonna go too low. We're, we're gonna keep that beard as full as possible. If we drag that fade low, then it's just gonna take away from the fullness. We're gonna keep that fade high. I think my clients are here. I'll be right back. All right, we're good. All right, so it's a lot of, it's, it's regular shop hours now. It's a lot of chaos and um, yeah, let's get back to it. All right, so we got the number three guard. Like I said earlier, it's process of elimination. It's working out right now. All right, let's try this again. Like I said earlier, we got the number three guard. All right, that part's over. We're on to the masters. Okay. Fading, fading, fading. Guys, I'm worried about my friend. I have not seen him in like an hour and a half. I come back here to find him like this. It's gonna be okay, mijo. It's gonna be okay, all right? Just remember, one plus one isn't always two. And just cause you ride for the set, don't mean it gotta be blue. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Whew. All right, let's proceed. All right, where we left off, guys, was um, this uh, using this masters, right? We were using the masters. It looks like I was using the number one guard, and we're gonna go. Huh? Mira, boom, open. Now, switching. Go, zero guard. On. Oh, look at that lever. Look at that lever. 
So what do you guys think about the GoPro footage? I think that it's, uh, it's a new angle that, that I've always wanted to use and it's, it's been debated that it, was, it wasn't necessary, but I like it. Regardless of how low the quality is, I like it. Gives you a different perspective. Huh? Okay, hold up. Guys, mira. If your client is chewing gum, tell them to spit it out. They could chew it while you're fading, but after that, it's time to go. Time to spit it out. And you know what? The funniest part is, I gave him the gum. I'm guilty in this. I should be the one slapping myself. I gave him the gum. Let's proceed. Oh, shit. <laughs> So right here, I got my uh, my Slimline Pro L eyes. Okay. I like them because they're super light. They're small. The blade is easy to to get in tight areas, especially for the ones that have those really, really, really tight, small edge lines that if you use a big blade, it hits the eyebrow. But you already know about that. You guys are better at this than me. I'm just, I'm just expressing myself the best way I can. There he goes again with the gum. Ah, oh, snap! Here we go, Fonzo. Moving a lot. Stop chewing. Stop chewing. Coño. Here we go. Line it up. Line it up. Line it up. Bow. Here we go. Using a 245 special edition pumpkin spice shave gel. Trakata, look. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even show me uh, uh, spreading it, spreading the uh, shave gel, but you guys pretty much knew that I did that. It's not like it just disappeared. We're just a little, little bit of tension. Pull the skin just a little bit, just a little bit, and then blah, a little pa, 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 pa. You see that? You see that pa? Trakata, mira eso. Look at that. Just a little bit, little bit. You just move that blade just a little bit. Let the blade do the work. Let the blade do the work. Same thing on the mustache. The mustache, I'm not the best at, at angles. Like my boy Nate, Faded Nate, he could do the backhand like it's nothing. Like it's nothing, especially around that area right there. I'm right-handed. If you're right-handed, when you do that right, left side of the mustache you uh you it, it'll be easier to do the the backhand i've seen nate do it it's it's a work of art especially when he does the thinny mini mustaches shout out to fade and nate but anyways here um i'm dispersing i'm not trying to use the word spread that just feels weird right now but i'm i'm dispersing the gel the shave gel here we go hasta abajo here we go. Look at that. A little bit. A little bit of tension. And a little bit. Let the, let, let, let the blade do the work right there. Mira eso. Mira eso. Mm. And I'm using the comb. That's another thing, guys. You want to use the comb. Mira eso. A little bit at a time. Take your time with this. The outer. I gave him the, the baby mustache. The 
the baby mustache minus the part. Well, it kind of looks like the part is there, I guess. Hmm? Woo, mira eso. Woo! Okay, so I'm using a number one wall guard. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's closed. I'm trying to bring it down, trying to close it. I'm just close it up. I'm trying to, sh to have the edge line as short as possible. Not as short as possible, but pretty short. I don't want the, the hair to, to flop up because if it's too long, curly hair tends to kind of curl and you don't want that on an edge. Right here, I'm using the bat, the, the bat babyless 0.5 guard. I love it much more than the freaking wall cheap ass 0.5 guard. Ooh, un poquito de, de sazón, aka hairspray. And I'm using, I'm coming back with the uh, the skeletons. I just edged up Faded Nate yesterday and he told me that the one side is biting too much. I almost scarred him up, gave him a little tattoo, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to re redo those. I'm gonna have to uh, recalibrate them things. Mira eso. Yo, let me tell you, lining up Fonzo, it's not easy. Cause he's, again, he's got he, the, the McDonald's arches are beginning to form. So I'm trying not to like go, I'm not trying to go like, I'm not trying to give him the triangle lineup. You know, I don't want the, I don't want the, 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 I don't want the bars to go inward. I want them to be as straight as possible, but it's difficult. You don't want his forehead to look too big by pushing him back too much. But he does know I have to push back a little bit for this to come out how he wants it. And he's okay with that. He's fine with that. He's cool with it. You feel me? He's cool with it. Okay, here we go. And it meets in the middle, guys. It meets in the middle. Diablo. Yo, let me say that these angles are coming out fire. I'm very proud of myself. Fire. Yeah, a little bit of sazon on the sides. A little bit of hairspray, you feel me? Don't be out here trying to hit your clients with actual sazon. That would be hilarious. Hmm. Okay, so I... Because I know that my skeletons bite, I've been using the Slimline Pros. They're hella weak for this area, but they they work. I don't wanna I don't wanna cut a client. I don't wanna tattoo them, so I've been using them. But now that Fade and Nate called me out yesterday, I'm gonna have to do something about it. Honestly, I like balding out with the skeletons, so I'm just gonna have to buy me another pair of skeletons. I might have to get that package deal. The skeletons with the uh, with the shaver. Oh, and right here, I'm I'm using the guard to go a little bit tighter because sometimes the hair tends to be a little, you know, you don't want the hair around that area to be the same length as the hair right above it. You want it to be slightly shorter. Same concept as the fade. You go from short to long. And I, I just like, I like the lineup to be as tight as possible, as crispy as possible. And in order to do that, it's the same principle as the lineup in the front. Just go a little bit shorter, guys, okay? And it'll all work out. And if it don't work out, call me back. We'll work it out. Right here guys 
remember, coast. Just coast through those waves. Make sure you go get those little stragglers. You gotta coast. And don't be afraid. Just make sure you don't aim that blade downward. Lay it flat and coast, baby, coast. Edge it up, do a little quick edge up. You could even spray the blade with a little bit of aftershave just so you could push that hair back, baby. Look at that, yeah. Oh yeah, he's feeling himself. Look at that face, he is feeling himself. Mira eso! Mira eso! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Well, guys, um, I'm super happy right now that I'm done. I'm done. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to your bot. Make sure you hit that bell and it'll alert you when I'm dropping. And ask for Fonz, Zo, bro, I appreciate you because you know, you and me know, you and me know how long this took. I don't even want to talk about it, but thank you. You're a real one for that. Jay hits finna drop the bass.